Yes. Okay, I'm here at Mike Farrell's office. Oh, the person who was really concerned about this. Hello, hi. Uh, I would like to set up a meeting with uh, the supervisor, Mike Farrell, because he was one of the key instigators for Laura's Law. Sure. And I've had nothing but denial of health care services because nobody enforces medical law, not the sheriff, not the San Francisco Police Department. Let, let's just say, hypothetically, if the Department of Public Health breaks the law, so, you know, I want to have a meeting with the supervisor so that I can show him all the videos of all the denials I've had of me following up with several supervisors to bring these issues forward and so that I can, you know, basically say, well, let me see if I understand this right, Mr. F you know, Mr. Supervisor. You were instrumental in passing this law, but yet medical law is not enforced, you know, and had it been enforced, well, we need this law. So, you know, to continue to follow up on the chicanery that I feel is being played on these victims, like me, you know, I'm a victim. I've constantly done what's right. No one has been accountable. I've been shifted from place to place. I have many videos of all the law-breaking activity. In addition, I would like to request the supervisor not only have a hearing with me, but to set up a hearing with the judge or a judge so that I can show them all the videos and hold all the people who have broken the law accountable for this law to be just. So, can I get a card or somebody to follow up with and email them and request this hearing? Uh, sure, you may email. Thank um, you. I like to keep written documentation so that when people say, oh, well, you didn't do this or you didn't do that, it's disproven. Okay. No plausible denial. I think you should, uh, in your email, uh, explain exactly what you are Of course, I will do the correct thing. What you're of course. Do I have any expectation of the correct follow-up? Well, that's a different story. But we'll see. All right, kind sir. I do thank you, and I'm sorry if I seemed a little so, ups... Uh, here's the I understand. Email. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you, thank you. And, and, and let us both pray that there will be some accountability, that there will be some responsibility, that there will be some humanity, because I've got so many videotapes of there being nothing like that so whatsoever. I, I think in your email, and based upon what you've told me yes, now, please. Um, I'm not quite sure I understand. understand uh, well, let me put it to you succinctly then. If medical law was to be enforced, let us, let us just say, for example, let us say, for example, theoretically, I might have gone to the Department of Public Health to follow up on the denial of my health care, 8-15-2012. And let us say that I took a police officer and the sheriff's officer was there. And let us say that the Department of Public Health provided a bogus fake restraining order against me, denied me my health care, denied me access and accommodation with, you know, the assistance of the police department and everybody else. Let us say that, you know, hypothetically, I followed up proved that there was no such animal, and when I went to the DA to file charges, I was told by the DA that they didn't care about my legal rights. I, I, I can continue down the road. Let us say that when I went to the sheriff and everybody else, that you know, they said, well, we don't enforce medical law. So let us say that this Laura's Law, which is supposed to help people, right. you know, is a sham, because if medical law was enforced, we wouldn't need this. So I just think that in your email, if you can provide some examples. Oh, sure. I, I can link them up to my YouTube videos. Great. Okay. Yes, it will be great. Let's okay. see how much of a response. Let's see how much accountability. Let's see how much humanity I'm afforded. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.